Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Atty. Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Ang tanong, are they up for the challenge? Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Jarian. Jarian is a third-year economics major of UP Diliman. She's the first UP student in both sides of her family. According to her, this fun fact is giving eldest daughter in an Asian household. Next, we have Sophia. Sophia is a speech pathology intern from UP Manila. During her free time, she likes to watch Netflix, eat, or sleep. Next, we have Irish or Irish. Irish is a third year BS Community Nutrition student of UP Diliman. Her hobbies include watching Filipino movies and surfing the internet. And finally, we have Melvs. Melvs is currently a third year Community Nutrition student of UP Diliman. He likes to watch movies and series. And fun fact, he once asked for a teacher's prerogative for a GE subject in the middle of the ocean. Siyempre, mamaya, yes. malalaman natin kung anong ibig sabihin nun. In any case, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. We also have UP Diliman Department of Arts Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo, and Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, a former chair of the UP Department of History. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Here, correct answers are 10 points each. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, let's, let's begin. begin! This is round one. Question number one. On April 2024, the U.S. Congress approved a $61 billion aid to which country in Europe which has been devastated by war since February 2023. Jayan. Ukraine. Ukraine is correct. Pay check. Question number two. In sports, what is the slowest swimming stroke that is included at the Olympics? Irish. Butterfly. Butterfly is wrong. Anyone can steal. Backward stroke. Backward stroke. Backward stroke is wrong. Anyone can still steal between Jarian or Melves. The correct answer is breaststroke. Question number three. The empennage is what you call the tail or tail assembly of what common flying vehicle? Sophia. Airplane. Airplane is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what island can you find Agusan, Misamis, and Cotabato? Sophia. Mindanao. Mindanao is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Which Filipino rapper has garnered more than 2 million monthly listeners on Spotify with his hits that include Alam Mo Ba Girl and Walang Alam? Irish. Have Abby. Have Abby is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which present-day Southeast Asian country became independent in 1948 with the name Burma? Jarian. Brunei. Brunei or Brunei is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Myanmar. Question number seven. In Albert Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared. What does E stand for? Melvs. Speed of light. Speed of light is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is energy. Question number eight. 
What island country in the North Atlantic, famous for northern lights and volcanoes, is a setting for the film Through Night and Day, starring Alessandra De Rossi and Paolo Contes? The correct answer is Iceland. Question number nine. All I Ask is a song partly written by Bruno Mars, for which female British singer? Irish. Adele. Adele is correct. Key check. Question number 10. What continent is north of Africa and west of Asia? The correct answer is Europe. Parang titingo mo sa mapa, no? Okay. Question number 11. In elementary math, what is the quotient when 51 is divided by 3? Irish. 17. 17 is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Neuralink is a brain-computer interface implant designed to let you control a computer or mobile device anywhere you go. Which South African billionaire launched Neuralink in 2016? Irish. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is actually correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round one. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that round, we have Irish with 40 points, Sophia with 20, Jarian with 10, and Mel with a bit of catching up to do. At syempre, attorney, meron tayong favorite segment dito sa K-Check na mas kinikilala natin yung mga contestants natin. Ito ang K-Chika. Simulan natin kay Jarian. So Jarian, you must be very proud of being the first UP student in your family. So bakit mo nasabing it's giving Asian panganay vibes? Uh... Usually po kasi parang in my family, parang yung mga elders po, or like eldest daughter, parang alam na agad nila kung ano yung gusto nila tahakin in life. Actually, uh, I was dreaming talaga. UP is really my dream. Like as early as elementary school, alam ko pong mag-UP ako. And parang natuwa lang po ako sa idea na nasa UP na ako kasi it's actually my dream. Minanifest niya kasi yun. At natutuwa din kami para sa iyo, Jarian. Let's go now to Sophia. Parang wala akong masyadong kilala na nagte-take up ng speech pathology. So can you tell us more about speech pathology as a course at saka bakit ito nga ang napili mo? So speech pathologists po, we assess, we diagnose and treat people with communication, swallowing and hearing impairments po. So I took up speech pathology kasi onti pa lang yung mga speech pathologists sa country. So I want to be part of um, the people who um, can serve other uh, Filipinos in that field. So, yeah. Cool. Our UP students are always For making us very proud. Yes. So, maraming maraming salamat, Jarian and Sophia. Babalikan natin mamaya si Irish at saka si Melves. In the meantime, di ba, pagandaan naman natin ang round two. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. K-check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan checkpoints. Rika po na tayo. Irish is leading with 40 points, followed by Sophia with 20 points, Jarian with 10 points, at si Melbs naman na habol pa sa susunod nating rounds. And syempre, we're back as promised dito sa Kay Chica. <laughs> so tanongin naman ngayon natin ngayon si Irish ang nagbabalik na si Irish. Nagbabalik siya kasi dati na siyang uh, dumating dito in a previous season. And of course, we welcome anybody to come back at any time. Kasi nga, kuminsan, meron yung kombinasyon na luck, luck. di ba? So anyway, Irish, meron mga moviegoers online na proud na sabihin hindi sila nanonood ng Filipino movies dahil no match daw ito for Hollywood. Samantalang ikaw, yun naman ang gusto mong panoorin. So ano mga sasabi mo dyan sa mga bashers ng Filipino films? Um, I think they should give it a try po muna before bashing kasi it's really parang compared po sa other um, culture kung ang Filipino movies ang pag-uusapan, very relatable po for me. Sabi nga ng mga Gen Z's, period. Period. Okay. 
na parang yun na yun. Yun na lang. Okay. Yun ibig sabihin. Period. <laughs> Period. Okay. Salamat, Irish. At ngayon naman si Melvs. Pakikwento naman sa amin kung paano ka napunta sa sitwasyong ng hingi ng pre-rog sa gitna ng karagatan. Oo nga. Pumayag ba, Melvs? And what were they doing in the middle of the ocean the in the first question. place? <laughs> So, yung family ko po kasi, nag-bakasyon po kami sa El Nido, Palawan po. And oh, nung, um, nung araw po na yun, wala, hindi pa po complete yung units ko. So, nasa kalagitnaan po kami ng island tours namin. Tapos, nag-email po ako sa maraming profs. And isa po doon yung sa Philo One po. Nag-email po ako sa kanya. And then, pagkabalik po namin sa pinag stay po namin sa gabi, nag-reply po siya and accepted po ko doon sa class. Akala ko naman magkasama sila doon Akala sa tour. <laughs> Naantay ko sa kwento niya, no? sa bangka kayo. Tapos, okay, so nag-email ka sa gitna ng karagatan. Yun naman pala yun. Okay. Okay. Salamat sa mga interesting na mga Sabi kwento Sabi ng ninyo. lahat ng humihingi ng pre-rog, sana all. Sana all. Nasa El Nido. Okay, now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman... Let's begin. This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. In geography, what is the only mountain in the world that is taller than K2? Irish. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. In what province were more than 1,500 visas granted to students according to the Bureau of Immigration in April 2024? The correct answer is Cagayan. Question number three. In biology, what do you call the initial stage of development for a multicellular organism like a human or a plant? The correct answer is embryo. Question number four. To what kingdom of living things do yeasts, molds, and mushrooms belong? Jarian? Fungi. Fungi is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In what sport does Boston's Bill Russell hold a record for winning 11 championships? Jarian? Basketball. Basketball is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What is the famous nickname of Filipino revolutionary figure who is a female Metichora Aquino? Jarian. Tandang Sora. Tandang Sora is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. In astronomy, what planet's orbit is smaller than the orbit of Venus? Irish. Mercury. Mercury is the correct answer, K check. You look so unsure of your answer, but the answer is correct. Question number eight. Named after a famous mountain range, what is the ship that was grounded in the West Philippine Sea that now serves as an outpost? This is the Sierra Madre. Question number nine, what fruit, which is also a vegetable, is an important ingredient of salsa, gazpacho, and ketchup? Irish. Tomato. Tomato is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10, what do you call the smallest unit of government in the Philippines, which is named after a native boat? Irish. Barangay. Barangay is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. In history, what city-state known as the world's first true democracy is also the name of the capital of modern Greece? Charian. Vatican. Vatican is incorrect. Irish. Athens. Athens is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. The audio of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was used in a video where he supposedly urged military action against China. This is an example of what term for a recording that has been manipulated to misrepresent someone. Now, voice phishing. 
voice phishing is incorrect. Deep fake is the term used for a recording that has been manipulated to misrepresent someone. And that's it for round two. Salamat Attorney Gabi. Ngayon ay mag-scores uh, recap tayo. Irish is leading with 140 points, followed by Jarian with 60 points, Sophia with 20 points, si Melvs naman may negative 10, pero may isang round pa tayo. Pero, di ba, huwag kayong mag-alala, hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Dahil, ultimate pagalingan round na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Irish is leading with 140 points, followed by Jarian with 60 points, si Sofia with 20 points, at si Melvs may negative 10, pero habol ka ulit. Pero syempre, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So dito sa ultimate pagalingan round, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter N answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Tandaan sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin. So, let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round. Let's call Professor Marla. Thank you. In planetary science, which of the following planets has the highest average surface temperature? Iris. Venus. The choices are A. Mercury, B. Venus, C. Mars, D. Jupiter, E. Saturn. I like your confidence, Irish, because the correct answer is B. Venus. K. Check. Oh, masaya si Prof. Marla. Sana masagot nila lahat ng mga questions mo today, Prof. Marla. Prof. Sophia. Thank you. <clears throat> In literature, the Lakandiwa or Lakambini can be found in which poetry form? A. Ambahan B. Awit C. Balagtasan D. Sophia Balagtasan okay. um, Let me continue D. Darangin E. Tanaga The correct answer is Balagtasan Okay, check! Either super confident ng mga contestants natin or siguro madali ang mga questions. Hindi pinapatapos ang ating experts. Let's see now with Prof. Lu. Okay, religious history tayo. Where are the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque located? Letter A, Madrid. Letter B, Jerusalem. Letter C, Gibraltar. Letter D, Mecca. Letter E, Cairo. Sophia. Mecca. That's incorrect. Sorry. Anyone can steal. Jaya. Jerusalem. The Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque are both located in Jerusalem at the Temple Mount. The correct answer is B. Jerusalem. K. Check. Maraming salamat sa second round ng ating questions dito sa Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Prof. Marla. In marine science, what is the term for the expulsion of symbiotic algae from coral tissues due to environmental stress? A. Algal bloom B. Coral transplantation C. Coral bleaching D. Upwelling E. Eutrophication Giant. Eutrophication Mali. Anyone can steal? Yung eutrophication, it's when a uh, body of water becomes overly enriched with nutrients. Pero yung expulsion ng symbiotic algae from coral tissues, that's called letter C, coral bleaching. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Prof. Sophia. Thank you. Um, in pop culture, which actor did not play Jose Rizal on film and television? A. Cesar Montano 
B. Aga Mulak C. Alden Richards D. Albert Martinez E. Joel Torre Oh no! Yeah. Um, director Mike De Leon in his earlier, in his first pitch no, for a Jose Rizal movie, he wanted Aga Mulak, but the plan did not push through. Okay, so the correct answer is B. Aga Mulak. Prof. Lu. Okay, sports history tayo. 2024 is an Olympic year, and the competitions will be held from July 26 to August 11 in Paris, France. Where was the previous Summer Olympics held? The choices are A. Beijing B. Los Angeles C. Seoul D. Dubai or E. Tokyo Irish A. Beijing I incorrect, sorry. Elves. Tokyo Originally scheduled to take place from July 24 to August 9, 2020, the event was postponed to 2021 due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. The first such instance in the history of the Olympic Games. The correct answer is E. Tokyo. K-check. Sa Tokyo, nagkaroon ng unang gold ang Pilipinas kay Heidelin Diaz. Sa susunod, ikaw na ang contest. <laughs> what about Masingit the sports? Masingit ko lang. Hey, what about the sports recap tonight? Okay. What about a points recap? Before yes. Before we proceed to the second half of this round. So Irish is still leading with 155 points, followed by Jarian with 75, Sophia with 35 points, and Melvs with 20 points. Pero, anybody can still win at this point in time because there's still, what, 180 20. points. That can be won by any one person. So, for the second half of our ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Marla. What is the purpose of the thick layer of blubber in marine mammals? A. Buoyancy control. B. Streamlining for faster swimming. C. Protection against predators. D. Insulation against cold temperatures. E. Storage of food reserves. Animals like seals and whales uh, have blubber for letter D insulation against cold temperatures. Parang ayo ng katawan ko ang word na blubber, Prof. Marla. <laughs> Prof. Sophia. Thank you. Um, Another question on film. The award-winning films, Apocalypse Now, um, 1979, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, and Platoon, 1986, directed by Oliver Stone, were both shot in the Philippines. What country were the films supposedly set in? A. Vietnam B. Cambodia C. Indonesia D. Thailand E. Malaysia Oh, um, the Philippines was standing in for Vietnam. Kasi Prof. Sophia, I think ang reaction nila inwardly was hindi pa kami pinapanganap nung pinakita ang mga movies. But anyway, but these are iconic movies, na? No? Prof. Lu. Okay, cultural history naman. What country is famous for its Burning Man Festival? Letter A, Brazil. Letter B, Germany. Letter C, India. Letter D, Spain. Letter E, United States. Brian. A, Brazil. Incorrect, sorry. Anyone can steal. The Burning Man Festival, which started in 1986, is a week-long, large-scale desert 
uh, event focused on community, art, self-expression, and self-reliance held annually in Nevada, United States. The event's name comes from its culminating ceremony, the symbolic burning of a large wood wooden effigy referred to as the man that occurs on the penultimate night the Saturday evening before Labor Day. The correct answer is E, United States. Sabi ni Irish, di ako sure din ako sasagot. Anyway, leading naman si Irish at 155 points. So let's see kung magbabago pa yan dito sa last set of questions dahil bukod kay Irish with 155, Jarian with 60 points, Sophia with 35, and Melvs with 20 points. Meron pa tayong 90 points na pwede oh, niyo Pero hindi pa kayo pwede masyado maging confident yes. tulad nung kahapon, di ba? Nasungkit at the mm -hmm. last moment. Last question. Na. Last na bago question. So anyway, last round or an ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Marla. Okay. In cellular respiration, what is the primary carbohydrate used as a source of energy? A. Fructose B. Galactose C. Glucose D. Sucrose E. Maltose Irish. Glucose The correct answer is C. Glucose K. Check Professor Sophia Thank you Um in art history, <clears throat> Langit, Lupa, at Impierno by Jose Luis Danz is a 19th century wall painting that can be seen in which church? A. Quiapo Church B. Paete Church C. Pauay Church D. San Agustin Church E. Baraswain Church The answer is Paete Church. No, it's a wonderful painting. No? And um, the Apocalypse is also there. So, a must go place. Yes. Paete. Maraming ano dun. Kakainin, titingnan, at bibilhin. <laughs> Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian history tayo. The infant emperor Puyi abdicated his throne in this East Asian country in 1912. The choices are A. Korea B. Manchuria C. Mongolia D. Japan E. China Sophia. Manchuria Incorrect, sorry. Anyone can steal? Puyi was the last emperor of the Qing dynasty and was installed as the puppet emperor of the Japanese-controlled state of Manchukuo from 1934 to 1945. The correct answer is E. China. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Irish! Ang nagbabalik na Irish back with a vengeance! Our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 185 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Congratulations. And of course, thank you also to Jarian, to Sophia, and to Mel for joining. Prapakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Sophia, and Professor Lu. Maraming salamat. I'm Jules Guia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check.